hey, this is Jason Morris with real estate agents that really work. So, you know, there's a big difference between the way that successful agents think and the way unsuccessful agents think. And, you know, there really isn't a mystery. I mean, um, that nobody's figured out or anything like that. But sometimes, you know, I know there's a lot of agents that are struggling just to get that one listing and it can feel that way. It can feel like there's a mystery or a code they have to break or something like that. And they just can't seem to get it. But m most of us know that success is really mindset. And it's really, um, you know, it all comes down to how we manage our mind and how we manage our days. You know, successful agents, they just approach tasks with different mindset. You know, for example, like picking up the phone and making calls, you know, unsuccessful agents, they're scared to, to pick up the phone and make a call. They're scared of what somebody's going to say. They're scared of what's going to happen. And you know, sometimes they're scared that people are going to say, yeah, come list my house, because then they're going, oh, my God, what do I do? So, but, un, but successful agents, they're looking at that differently. You know, they've got fear and they've got, but, it, but it's a different kind of fear. That fear is redirected and rechanneled. What they're scared of is they're scared of, hey, if I don't pick up the phone and call, what's going to happen? If I don't pick up the phone and make calls, get more listings, am I going to be able to go and pay for this or do this or reach these goals or reach these dreams, pay these bills? You know, that, that fear is redirected. And, you know, with unsuccessful people, you know, there's three things that typically they'll say. You know, the, the first thing is unsuccessful agents who go, hey, I don't know how to do that. You know, I don't know how to make calls. I don't know what kind of scripts to use. I don't know what to do at a listing appointment. I don't know what paperwork to use. You know, they, instead of going and figuring it out, they say, oh, I don't know how to do that. You know, or then they'll say, they'll look at a successful agent and they say, well, he has, you know, he's he's been here his whole life. You know, I don't have those things. I don't have a big sphere of influence. I don't have family that's been in the business. Um, you know, and then the third thing they typically say is, oh, I'm not like that. I'm not, I'm not good at those things. You know, and they're looking at things like, hey, picking up the phone. I mean, everybody sucks the first day. You know, but they keep making those three excuses and what they keep doing is they just keep stopping, you know, and the difference is successful agents and people that want to be successful and they truly want to be a successful real estate agent, you know, down, down deep, you know, they're brand new. And if you want to be a successful agent, you can't, you can't keep going, Hey, I don't know how to do those things. What you need to do is say, Hey, if you don't know how to do it, you know, how can you learn how to do that? You know, how can you put that on your schedule, put it on your agenda and say, hey, I don't know how to make calls. Okay, who can I learn to make calls from? You know, I don't know how to use scripts. You know, who can I, who can I, who can I learn that from? You know, can I find a role play partner? Can I, and that's what you should do is if, if you don't know how to use scripts, you should find a role play partner, you know, get comfortable with the script, role play it, you know, you know, 30, 45 minutes one day and then pick up the phone and start calling, you know, but instead of saying, I don't know how to do that, or when that thought comes into your mind that, hey, I don't know how to do something, you know, you need to ask yourself, how can I learn how to do it? I mean, the internet's so full of, of stuff. I mean, anything you want to know is, it's pretty much on Google or YouTube for free. Um, you know, YouTube, there's videos for literally everything, you know, and successful agents, they don't say things like, Oh, I don't have those things. I, you know, I don't have the sphere of influence. I mean, when I moved to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, I didn't know anybody here. I was like two days out of college. I didn't know anybody, but you know, you, you work on it. You don't know people. So you need to meet people. But the thing is, most of the business that we're doing from expired for sale owners and things like that. I mean, I rarely work with people I know now, 13 years later. I, I'm just, you know, my friends, they, you know, every now and then they might buy or sell a house and stuff. But honestly, most of my friends are in the real estate business, you know. So just because you don't have those things, you know, what can you do to go out and get it? You know, I don't have any leads. What can you do to go out and, and buy leads? I mean, Red X has a great subscription. They're offering, you know, they waive setup fees. If you sign up and tell them I, I sent you, Jason Morris sent you. 
you know, if you need leads, what can you do to go get leads? If you want to work with buyers, what can you do to go get more buyer leads? You know, there's only two things you really need. You need to, you need buyers or sellers, you know? So, um, and if you don't have a system to follow up with, I mean, gosh, I give you my whole for sale owner system at Jason Morris, Visbo master.com. It's on my YouTube channel and it's all free, you know? And then the, the third thing, you know, successful agents, they don't say, Hey, I'm not like that. I'm not good at those things because here's the thing, you know, if you're saying that to yourself, if you're, if you're thinking like, Hey, I'm not a person that gets on the phone all the time and calls people, you know, I don't even like to talk on the phone. You know, how can you learn to like those things? You know, that's what successful agents do. You know, if, if you want to build a website and, you know, they don't know how to build a website, they basically, they, you know, get on the internet, they learn, they watch some YouTube videos, they get on Google, they figure it out. But, you know, if you're saying that right now, hey, I'm not good at getting on the phone. What you need to do is you need to look, look through my group, real estate agents that really work, look at YouTube videos, look at, uh, you know, gosh, other people's um, videos and stuff and start learning how to be like that, how to be that person that you want to be. And, um, you know, stop stopping, you know, that's the difference between the way successful people and unsuccessful people think successful people don't stop when they hit a roadblock, they say, Hey, how can we go around this? How can we figure this out? You know, how can we learn this skill set? You know, and that's, that's the, the problem. A lot of, uh, especially newer agents have, they have uh, the self-limiting belief that they say, you know, I don't know how to do that. I don't have those things. I'm not good at that. Well, you know, you need to learn how to do that. You need to, to learn how to figure out how to get those things. You need to learn that skill set, And that's how you're going to be successful in the real estate business. You know, it's, it's just the way that you manage your mind and the way that you set up your day and your schedule and everything, you know, hey, if you don't, if you don't know how to make calls, you know, set some time aside in your schedule to learn how to make those calls. If you don't know how to generate leads or where to get leads from, you know, set some time aside in your schedule to actually learn and research different places you can get leads from. You know, if you're saying, hey, I'm not like that or I'm not good at that, you know, set some time aside in your schedule and, you know, learn learn how to be like that. Learn that skill set to be successful. And I mean, that's what it's going to take for you to, you know, to get to the next level, to break through, to go from being part-time to full-time, you know, to get started, sell that one property a month or two properties a month. You know, if you're struggling and your, your goal is to sell one property a month, you know, it's not your market. It's not you. It's your skill set. You know, the skill sets you have and the discipline you have. Lots of times it's just mindset. And I mean, that's what, that's, that's the thing that took me from like getting say one listing a week to getting three, four five listings a week. It wasn't that, um, it wasn't any big breakthrough or new lead source or anything. It was that in my mind, I'll have basically it was a mindset. It was like, wow, you know, I started consistently getting one a week. Then it was like, Hey, you know, uh, I, I'm getting one a week. I can get two a week. You know, so all of a sudden I started getting two a week. And then um, next thing I know, you know, now, now my mindset is, hey, I can go out there. I can get one a day. I can get one for every day I prospect. I can go out and list a new house, new house or condo or track of land or something. You know, I wake up, I wake up in the morning. I start calling at eight o'clock. But my mindset is, hey, whose property am I going to list today? Whose property am I going to list tomorrow? You know, so, and that, that's what you need to think. That's how you need to think, you know, whose house am I going to list today? And, um, guys, if you have any questions, um, you know, post, post to my group, real estate agents that really work, you know, I'll try to help you listen to my YouTube videos. You know, there's tons of stuff in there. I give away my for sale owner system for free. I mean, it's probably, it'd probably be a $500 system. If you're going to go buy it from somebody or you're looking at some of the other courses and stuff online. But there's tons of stuff, tons of things you can use. If there's something you don't have, you need to set some time aside to think about how can you get that. So 
this is Jason Morris with real estate agents that really work. You know, if you're looking for lead sources, Red X, uh, wave setup fees, just tell them that I sent you. Z Buyer always has special deals and stuff for my group. And I've got my book on Amazon, 53, 53 Strategies to Get More Listings. And I'll talk to you guys soon.